Well, if you've ever been to LP Field for one of the nightly stadium shows at CMA Music Fest, you've no doubt seen or even been hit by one of hundreds of beach balls that somehow magically appear from among the sea of fans. These balls are the work of a covert underground organization called the Beach Ball Boys. They invited our cameras into their top secret world. Well, top secret until now. Beach Ball Boys on three. One, two, three. Beach, Beach Ball, Ball Boys! Boys. We started about nine years ago um, with literally me, one of my buddies, and two beach balls. Let's go! Woo! Over the span of nine years, it's grown to us uh, sneaking in almost 1,500 beach balls. We sneak the beach balls in, and then uh, we pass them out to the whole crowd in between artists before the artists that we do that we decide that we want to launch them to, and then everybody blows them up and holds them, and it's just kind of become a, a giant family. All you gotta do is put a drink in my hand. Eric Church is definitely our favorite. These boots, they're stuck toe to toe with the biggest, baddest joke. We start off with a smaller number the first night, and then it just grows from, from there until we, every year on Sunday, we'll set a record. It's time to get it on. Am I the only one who wants to have fun tonight? We have them in dozens, and then uh, we actually use saran wrap and duct tape and duct tape them under our shirts and stuff them down our boots, whatever it takes. We're going in a couple minutes. We uh, are all packed up, as you see, or hopefully, ho hopefully you don't see. So once we hit that moment, you know, we don't ever have it planned. We just know, like, now, this is the time. So we'll write now on the whiteboard, and he'll stand on his chair, hold it up, you know, wave it to everyone, and then they know, you know, hit him, and everyone releases him at the same time. Take me down to a paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? We've done Little Big Town. We've done a few people that maybe didn't deserve uh, the beach balls. <laughs> or we'll, enjoy them. <laughs> that will say, we'll, we'll, we'll remain unnamed. I hate beach balls because I feel like people should come there to hear the music and not play with their balls. Some people can't stand beach balls. I think in the past they used to be anti-beach ball, you know, it's more like, you know, just the music and I want your full concentration and rock and roll and there's no place for beach balls. And now I'm like, man, what's wrong with the beach ball? Not a fan of the Beach Bulls. Not a fan of the Beach Bulls, I gotta say. The hatred came on the Kenny Chesney tour, which by the way, he hates him too. Um, even though he's beachy, doesn't mean he wants to get hit in the face during a ballad with the beach ball, and that's what happened to me. My experience has been that I see people's faces who are having a great time and I suddenly are whacked in the head with a beach ball, and it's a different experience when you see it from what I see. I keep a box cutter on the stage now, just in case. We want to give a real big shout out, a real big thank you to the CMA Fest family. We love all of you. To Beach Balls, to you.